What's up guys, in today's video I want to try and answer the question and try and figure out why so many people struggle to achieve the goals which they want to achieve. Okay, so most of you guys who are watching this, you probably have some idea in your mind of the physique which you want to have. And you're probably working your ass off to get there, or at least there's times in the year where you are and times in the year where you aren't. And a lot of you, yeah, you might see the results you want to see, but the vast majority struggle, okay? There is just one big constant struggle. And I want to try and figure out why that is the case. Why do people have such a hard time in getting to where they want to be? And what could you potentially do to sort this out? So with the help of my trusty whiteboard, it's been a while since we've had them out, I've put together a list of points, in my opinion, the most important factors which are going to determine your rate of progress. So I'm going to go through them briefly. Optimal training programming, that basically means you need to be following a training program, which is ideally customized for you to help you to achieve your goals, right? Execute exercises effectively. You know what I'm like, I'm very, very focused on form and technique. You want to be able to execute the exercises to your very best ability, place tension on the working muscle and keep the tension there throughout the set. Sessions are intense. Obviously you have to go into the gym with a strong work ethic you can't go in there and just be like yeah yeah you can't cruise through a session you have to push yourself outside of your comfort zone you have to work hard okay you have to work pretty damn hard everyone with a good physique works their ass off when they go to the gym optimal nutrition intake very similar to optimal training programming you want to be following a nutrition program which is going to help you to achieve your goals and the two most common goals are either going to be fat loss or building muscle okay obviously everyone wants both at the same time but sometimes you've got to Prioritize one over the other. Adequate sleep, now that's probably one of the most important factors in my opinion, it's gonna have an effect on everything else almost. You wanna try and get at least seven to eight hours. That's, that's my general advice to all of you guys out there. It will vary from each individual, but if I get less than that, I get cranky and things start to go downhill. Reduce stress, basically from your day-to-day -day life, you wanna minimize the amount of stress levels which you have flowing through your system, okay? It will vary again from each individual and what they have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, but try and keep it to a low. And then minimize drug and alcohol intake. So basically just try and reduce any kind of substances which are gonna have a detrimental effect on your body. So there we go, I've just given you a list of things which you need to have boxed off in order to see results. But that's step one. Step two is how do you keep it going over a long period of time? How do you be consistent with all of those things so that you can actually see some real results long into the future? So what I've done here is put another list together, it's a very listy day today, of how you can be more consistent, okay? I think the first thing, probably the obvious thing you need to do is ask yourself, why is it that you're so inconsistent, okay? Try and figure out what is it that makes you keep slipping off track from time to time okay for, for a lot of people it's the same things over and over again which you're letting happen okay so ask yourself sit down and be like what is it why do i keep screwing up second of all have a plan b now obviously everyone lives very very busy lives and things don't always go to plan so you need to have some sort of plan b for when plan A doesn't happen, okay? So let's say, for example, you can't go to the gym for whatever reason, you miss your session. Another example, if you don't stick to your nutrition program because you have to go out for food on a family event or a business meeting, okay? Things don't always go to plan, so you have to decide or come up with a plan B and think, how can I get back on track as soon as possible? Because a lot of people make the mistake of thinking, oh, you know what, today was a complete write-off, so oh, that's just ruined everything, so I'm just gonna start my diet again on Monday, and this could be on Wednesday. So what, does that mean you're just gonna completely go off the rails for five days until it comes to Monday again, and then you're gonna start from the beginning, yeah? Always have a plan B, get back on track as soon as possible. If you've had a bad day, go to bed, wake up, and the next day's a new day. Create forfeits. This is basically a punishment you set for yourself if you don't follow the program or if you slack off and do something you're not supposed to. Now, my advice would be, the more brutal the forfeit, the more effective it's gonna be. So if you say something like, oh, you know what, I'm not gonna have a cheat day because I did this. Eh, yeah, that works, but it, you could be more brutal with it. Build positive habits, okay? So these would be like set routines which you have in place, which can almost bring about positive ripple effects to other areas of your life. So let's take me, for example. If I prep all my meals at a certain point every day, you know, 
it seems like a bit of a ball ache to begin with, but when you get in the routine of doing it, everything is on track, okay? Or if I wake up early and do some cardio in the morning, it's gonna set the tone for the rest of the day. Or even if I just, you know, if I could listen to one podcast a day or an audio book, just listening to, you know, intelligent people speak almost kind of makes me wanna do positive things and get myself together, if you know what I mean? So find out what your positive habits can be. And when they're a habit, it doesn't feel like hard work, it just feels normal. The last one, this is probably the toughest one, stay motivated or staying motivated. Because let's let's face it, okay? Realistically, we've all had that point in time where you are just motivated as hell. And you're like, you know what? This is the year, this is the time. I'm gonna completely transform my physique. I'm gonna be in the best condition of my life. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And then you wake up the next day or another day and you'll be like, oh, don't really want to do that today. I'd rather just chill out and not go to the gym or maybe order a takeaway and not prep my meals. Okay, you kind of sometimes forget why it is you wanted to make those changes in the first place. I face those demons every day. Okay, some people might think, Mike, you have it easier than everyone else. No, I don't. It's goddamn hard for me as well. But there are those days when I wake up and I'm just, I'm not in the zone, I'm not motivated. So I have these little kind of cues or routines which kind of bring me back up on track and get me pumped, okay? Because sometimes it could just be music. I could listen to uh, particular songs which gets me fired up and I'm like, you know what? Right, okay, let's go to the gym. I'm ready. Or sometimes it could be just be looking at old photos of myself when I'm in really good condition. Maybe looking at other fitness influencers can get you, you know, pretty pumped up, psyched up, I don't know. And then also, just thinking, right, what is my potential? I know everyone has a potential which they have not yet reached. And sometimes I just look at myself and I'm like, nah, I'm not at that potential what I could be. I could train harder. I could be more consistent with what I'm doing. I could be more disciplined with myself. And sometimes I could just look, I'll just look in the mirror. All right, take all your clothes off, right? Stand in front of the mirror and just look at yourself. Because sometimes that just gets me motivated in itself because you know, I might be happy, you know, I'm happy with my condition, but I'm not content. I'd be like, nah, need, nah, need work, need work here, need to work on this, need to get the abs out. Because a lot of the time you're covered up in clothes, so you don't really see your body, and it's kind of hidden a lot of the time. But if you just stand there, just be completely bollock naked and look at yourself. Sometimes that's motivation in itself. So there you have it, guys. Step one, go through that first list I went through, go through each point, and realistically assess yourself and think, have I got this boxed off or is there something I need to work upon? If it's all good, everything's got a nice tick next to it. Second step, you need to figure out how you can be consistent with it, okay? How you can keep up everything over a long period of time because that is what is gonna deliver you the real results. If you have a problem with consistency or motivation, whatever it might be, if you are struggling, drop a comment below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon.